We are here to announce that after an exhaustive investigation, the Department of Justice has reached the conclusion that insufficient evidence exists to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that the police officers who arrested Eric Gardner in Staten Island on July 17th of 2014 acted in violation of the Federal Criminal Civil Rights Act. Consequently, the investigation into this incident has been closed. Misperception or even poor judgment. When we evaluated Officer Pantaleo's actions in light of his training and experience, Mr. Gardner's size, weight, and actions to resist arrest, and the duration and escalating nature of the interaction, we determined that there was insufficient evidence to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that Pantaleo acted in willful violation of federal law. As a result, we conclude that there is insufficient evidence to bring a federal criminal charge against Officer Pantaleo for his role in the untimely death of Mr. Gardner. It does not constitute willful conduct. Officer Pantaleo was not engaged in the chokehold on Mr. Gardner when he said he could not breathe. And neither Officer Pantaleo nor any other officer applied a chokehold to Mr. Gardner after he first said he could not breathe. It is also important to understand that there is a disagreement among medical experts regarding the cause of Mr. Gardner's death. My name is Richard Donahue. I'm the U.S. Attorney. We met with Mr. Gardner's family earlier this morning and shared our findings and decision with them. I offered my sincere condolences, as well as the condolences of Attorney General Barr and the entire department to the family for this tragic loss. And I'm joined this morning by the special agent in charge that Mr. Garner's death was a tragedy. For anyone to die under circumstances like these is a tremendous loss. For the family to suffer, as this family has, for too long has only compounded the loss. Procedures and policies of the department and as long as I 